encounter. What's been your favorite, um, who's sang the favorite cover of All This Love? Because I know a lot of people have. I have one person in mind, but from your point of view, who's done a version of it and recorded a version of it that you've really said, wow, this is really good? Um, I really don't know her name. It's a, fe a female saying it. Re recently, I heard it. Oh, recently, okay. And you know, the producer is a, a guy named, he calls himself Groove Funkel. Have you ever heard of him? No. You check it out when you can go groove, yeah. like groove, funk, F U N K E L, funk L. And he's got a version of All This Love where he has a girl singing it. To me, she sounds great. Wow. I, mean, just, I, I, I can't remember her name, but yeah. It's for groove, funk, all this yeah. love. He sounds great, and Patty Labelle. I love. Yeah, I was gonna, I was gonna say Patty because yeah. I'm a massive Teddy yeah, Riley fan, yeah. and 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 um, um, I saw when yeah, yeah when Teddy did a good job on that. I thought Teddy did such a great job on that. Teddy Riley did a great job on that. I mean, he just he just did. He he's got a, a touch, man. It's it's just Teddy, and you know, and you can't touch like you can't touch that. <laughs> 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 Have you ever like, worked with Teddy? And Patty was, Patty was able to be Patty, and yeah, and it stood out as Patty, yeah. and, it, and, it's, and it was still all this love. Yeah, uh, uh, the producer, which was Teddy Riley, I think he did a great job. Yeah, have you have you ever worked? Have you ever worked with Teddy? Oh uh, yeah, with um, the after the dance song that we did with Foreplay, we Foreplay uh, that was their first single ever, the group Foreplay. Was after the dance, the first single, and Patty and I sang on that. Oh, wow! After the dance by four. Yeah. You, you you know, in the nineties, one of the biggest songs that you guys you did, you were involved with. Well, there's two that I can remember. The first was Secret Garden. Um, mm -hmm. yourself, Al, uh, James Ingram, <laughs> and Barry White, and um. Yeah. Did you realize, I mean, as I said, I was still in Nigeria when I came out, so that's another big global hit, but what was it like just having the, hey, we don't get a lot of those anymore, but what was it like when Quincy sort of gave you the idea about this is what we want you to be part of? Um, he had music written already, but it was very, uh, it, it wasn't a whole lot of the music he had written. Um, not at least not yet, but it was enough to write words and the melody too. So he, well, Quincy Jones, myself, and Saida Garrett, we did an all-nighter <laughs> at wow. Rod Templeton's house. <sighs> we were there and we were just writing. And, no, I don't like that. Let's try that. Okay, well, what about this? No, oh, okay, I like that, but I don't like that. <laughs> Quincy's very uh, particular about what he wants. So we were. We're writing and then we say, Chrissy, how do you like this verse? And it just went on all night like that. And the sun came up and we were still doing it. And so finally we got finally we got the song just like we wanted it. Verse, this verse, this background. So I said, okay, finally, now I need to go and go to bed. Now he said, he said, no, nah, we're going to the studio. <laughs> Whoa. Because he said, no, nah, we're going to the studio, son. We're going to record this right now. Wow. I said, you kidding me, right? He was not kidding. We went straight to the studio and we recorded it. And uh, I sang and um, uh, James Ingram sang his part. I'll be sure sang his part. And Barry White came in last. He sang his part. But I remember I was so tired. I was like, everybody's going to sing and they're going to sound good except me. I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> so I told Quincy, I said, Quincy, let me just warm up and uh you know at least give me a chance to warm up at least, you know what i mean at least can i at least get that you know <laughs> so he said he said yeah he said you guys he said, just warm up in the mic <laughs> <laughs> wow so i did i was warm i was warm up in the mic you know what I mean? and then uh i felt like i felt like i could do it then i said wow so you know i was like thank you god for giving me the strength you know and thank you quincy for letting me warm up he said you're welcome. He said, come on in. He controlled me. So I went in. I said, yeah. I 
said, thanks, man. He said, he said all right, you can go home now. I said, huh? <laughs> <laughs> he said, you finished. So we I said, I just warmed up. He said, no, that's great, baby. Go home. Whoa. <laughs> I was so scared. I was so scared for months. I was like, that's going to sound terrible. That was just my warm up. I've always been so critical like that. Okay. But I mean, I should have known if Quincy said it was good, mm. then it was good. Yeah. You know, he's not, I mean, this is Quincy Jones. He knows what he's talking about. Yeah. Um, duh. But, <laughs> you know, that's just me being a perfectionist. Yeah. But yeah, so that was my warm that's all that's my warm up for wow. you guys here. And I, was, and I was scared because I was the only one who didn't like it. <laughs> but then yeah. afterwards you the success and, and then your performance on Soul Train. You... Yeah, that was live. That was live. Was, um we were we, we were we were in, I was in white, right? I think yeah. were we all in white or no, 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 um, black. I think I think it was black. I had on white, didn't I? No, I was it black? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Barry White. Yeah, we all went. Oh, yes, James. You all okay. I think. <laughs> yeah. oh, black, white, white, black. Like yeah. <laughs> no, where you wore white was I'll be um, um Arsenio's show. I remember you did white. Wear white, white oh, when okay. Arsenio's stuff. Um, but yeah. Um, but I guess I'm, I'm allowed to get mixed up every now. And yeah. Then, right? No. No. It's, it's no. It's, it's a lot. I mean, as a fan, we watch it and then we stuff. Thanks for watching. Please remember to subscribe to the channel, but most importantly, to press the notification bell so that you can be notified when we do have a new interview. Loads to come, but thanks a lot for watching.